How are you, Julian? Good. How are you, man? Great, great. You know, this movie... This what, movie are, what are those tapes behind you? Sorry. Oh, those are just those. Blu, Blu-rays and DVDs. I'm, I'm a physical media junkie. I love all, all that stuff. So, great. Uh, yeah, so Julian. Much. Yeah. For, uh, <laughs> first... First off with this documentary, there's there's so much archival footage, there's uh, unseen footage, there's so many different interviews. And you as the director, what was the key for you in bringing all of these, I guess, sort of an animation, of course, and all of these massive resources together into one whole? How long does that take? And what is the key to actually just filtering through all of that? Ooh, uh, yeah. Well, I you know, I think someone like Shane McGowan is, is very multifaceted faceted kind of personality so you you want to look at him in as many different ways as you can or or, uh, yeah just just show the contradictions and the kind of passions and the things that bounced off inside him Uh, if you can find that kind of window into his soul however you go about it that's really what a film should should try and do um I mean, you, you know, it did take a long time. Um, he's famously very against doing interviews, you know, so uh, it meant the film was more difficult, but in a way, it was a better film probably, or, or, or a more, you know, d- unique film because he wouldn't do an interview. So you had to go and scour the world for these little micro cassettes where he may have sent something brilliant in a bar in Finland in four in the morning in 1985, you know, in a very unguarded, very intimate way, opening his soul in a way that you don't necessarily do with a big camera and a film crew filming you. So in a way that that liberated us, we got we got much fresher, closer to Shane than if he had sat down and agreed to do an interview. Um, But it took a lot of time and we were running out of time and running out of (laughs) the, the money to make the film. So in the end, we did manage to persuade him to do these um, conversations with other people that he liked. That I that was interesting because the the different chains that appeared with different people was fascinating in itself. You know, he's one person with Johnny Depp. He's another person with Bobby Gillespie. He's a, a third person with Jerry Adams, the the, the man from the the old uh, Sinn Fein. Um, so. Uh, you know, I was trying to, I certainly didn't want to go with any preconceived ideas about him. I didn't want to canonize him. I didn't want to demonize him. I wanted to show these different angles on him and, and like a cubist kind of portrait and, and the people could kind of travel around and make their own mind up about this extraordinary pers- personality, basically. Yeah, yeah. In the documentary, Shane was talking about he, he felt the most ha- the happiest and pleased with his music and writing when he actually put music before everything else. And wondering, as you as an, as an artist and filmmaker, could you relate to that? Meaning sometimes you might have to put your personal life maybe to this back burner for a little bit to actually really immerse yourself in, in one's work. Yeah, I mean, I worry about that all the time, whether, whether um, my kind of obsessive... Uh, immersion in in work is is what what's best for you or not I can't really help it when I get involved in a project I just um, you know try and drown in it basically and, and try and save myself by hanging on to bits of things I find um, so yeah it's pretty immersive thing for me and it's probably not the greatest thing I mean I've tried I have a, I have a family I have kids and um, you know, I've tried to try to share my time, uh, and uh, it's difficult when you're that obsessive. And I'm sure Shane is, uh, it, you know, music has ever has been everything really to him. So uh, I think without that dedication, it's hard to it's hard to get anywhere. You know, I mean, hopefully the film is a little bit about the nature of creativity and what you have to give up in order to achieve it, or what you have to reach for and um, what you what dangers it, it can open up for you um I, you know i think shane's story is on the one hand it is a triumph but on the other hand it's a tragedy and, and there are moments where you're laughing hopefully in the film and then there's a switch where you you're not laughing anymore you know because you're looking at something quite sobering and uh, sobering is a good word um and um you know quite dark you know um but the contradiction of that in Shane's lyrics and his music, I think, 
is what fascinates people and, and emotionally pulls them into it. Okay, very quickly, uh, before I let you go, Julian, you know, after this weekend, I'm going to spend some time to watch Vigo Passion for Life and then start watching close to three hours worth of Vigo's material. And just wondering from your perspective as a filmmaker and as a cinephile, why even to this day do a lot of people go back to Vigo's work from way back when? And why does he continue to inspire us and inspire you as far as filmmaking goes? Well, I think there are many things. I think he really is the fountainhead, the pure source of independent filmmaking you know he he didn't make films in the conventional way he made them with his friends uh he found the money to make them wherever he could find it under under whatever stone uh he he was the first guy to take the camera off the tripod and go handheld i mean he was a great innovator uh and you know there's such an extraordinary humanity in his films and um they're so fresh it's like opening a window into the time that he filmed them 20s 30s that it's like the most amazing time travel when you get involved in a Vigo film it has that freshness that many other films from that time just don't have you know uh, but it's I think the main thing is the spirit of independent filmmaking Julian thanks uh, thank he, you so much you know they, they call him Saint Jean Vigo the saint of independent filmmaking well Julian thank you so much for your time love this doc and can't wait to see uh, Vigo Passion for Life this weekend take care all right Let's go. Okay.